Good afternoon and welcome to Widener News. I'm Courtney Pale. And I'm Kenesha Pinkney, here to bring you the latest Widener in entertainment news. Let's start off with some entertainment news. Last week, we all said farewell to one of the greatest pioneers of technology. Apple co-founder Steve Jobs died last week on October 5th from several long years of pancreatic cancer. Even though Steve Jobs was responsible for the greatest devices known today, such as the iPod, iPhone, and iPad, he still decided to resign as co-founder of Apple back in August. Jobs felt as though he couldn't fulfill his duties anymore. All in all, Steve Jobs will be truly missed for being influential in the technology world we know of today. Fantasia Barino, is she growing for better or worse? Fantasia Barino started off on a good foot. America voted her in as the winner of American Idol season three. She played the role as herself in the Fantasia Barino story, and her debut album featured number one hits like Truth Is and Free Yourself. But things began to go downhill for her when she attempted to commit suicide over a breakup with a married man by the name of Antoine Cook. Despite of it all, Fantasia later began building herself up, again in reality TV and in music. Just recently, Fantasia revealed that she is pregnant and due on December 9th of this year. To some, this may be beautiful news, but to the producers of the Mahalia Jackson movie, this isn't. Fantasia was supposed to star as Mahalia Jackson, the movie about the life of a gospel singer, but Fantasia hid her pregnancy from them. What made it even worse was that she's been getting paid for the movie up front, and she still never revealed the news. To make matters worse, she had a child out of wedlock with the guy she attempted to commit suicide for. She will be replaced if she doesn't agree to work on the film at the New Year's Eve. That's all for entertainment news, and now over to Courtney with some Widener news. Hey Widener, I'm here to give you the latest updates on what's going on around campus. Are you sick of eating the same old food served in the calf? Well get ready for a change because on a few select Wednesdays, Students from the School of Hospitality Management are the ones in charge. They will be hosting the 2011 Fall Dinner Series, where the students are given a theme and are responsible for putting everything together. Yesterday's theme was traditional Central American cuisine. The series takes place in the J. Willard and Alice S. Marriott dining room on the first floor of the Academic Center North Building, located on 17th Street. The meal consists of a four-course dinner ranging from $16 to $23. The special takes place from 5.30 to 8 p.m. and is open to the public. For more information or to make your reservations, call 610-499-1127. As some of you may know, October is Breast Cancer Month. Weiner has been working hard and raising money for the cause. The Wellness Center will be collecting pink YoPlay lids until December 15th. For each lid, the company will donate 10 cents to the Susan G. Komen for the Cure Foundation. Also, school organizations have set up tables outside the CAF selling shirts and other items to raise money. All proceeds will go towards the foundation. Campus Cruiser has faced some changes as the fall semester continues. As of last Friday, Widener will be providing more highlight information, such as news around campus, events, and campus safety. A new section called Widener University Alert provides students with the latest updates at the click of a button. Each of Widener's campuses have separate places for news and will no longer need different colors to differentiate the various campuses. As the news continues to pour in, Widener continues to find ways to advance their system. Well, that's all for Widener News. I'm Courtney Pale. And I'm Kenesha Pickney, wishing you a safe, happy fall break.